So it's 7.45 a.m. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me see if I can. 7.45 a.m. if you can see that, All right? I have gotten a full workout in. I've made breakfast, I've eaten breakfast, plus my protein shake. I have walked my dog, let her out and go play for a little minute. I have shot some content and I've taken a shower and it's 7.45 a.m. I've done all of these things already. One of the biggest and most important things about waking up early, waking up at 5 a.m., you're getting a jump start before your day even starts. You're getting a head start on the competition. If you're in the competition, you and someone else that's in the same field doing the same thing, you waking up before them and getting a start to your day, while they're still sleeping, it gives you an advantage to get ahead of the competition. You, you're, you're way, you get way more productivity in, in your day because you're giving yourself more time to do things. So that's just an example. My work day hasn't even started yet. And like I said, I've gotten a workout in. So all the people that's sleeping while I'm working out, I have an advantage. I'm getting an advantage. All the people who haven't started their day, yet, I've already eaten my breakfast. I've already got a jump start. So I can be more productive. I can get more stuff done in my day just by waking up a few hours earlier than the rest of the world. It's one of the biggest benefits and one of the most important things why I can tell you about waking up early. I've been waking up early for some years now. Uh, there are days where it's just a very tough time getting out of my very comfortable bed. It's a struggle sometimes, but you always got to ask yourself, like, what do you want out of life? Do you want to stay where you at? Do you want to stay complacent or do you want more? And if you want more, you just got to make small progress daily. It's just small increments, right? Every day you're getting 1% better and it's ultimately going to separate you so far from the rest of your competition. And it's also just going to propel you in your life so much further than where you would have been had you not been taking these steps. Another reason why it's important to wake up early wake up 5 a.m. is because it gets you some mental clarity, man. The world is still sleeping. The world is still quiet. You have time to set your intentions for the day. You have time to meditate and clear your mind before you even get your day started. If you're waking up early, try and tune the noise out before you hop on your phone and get on social media and all that stuff. Try and spend some time with yourself. The rest of the world is sleeping. Take some time for yourself to clear your mind and meditate and tackle the day ahead. If you start in your day with mental clarity and peace, you have a much better day than if you're waking up scrambling, rushing, hurrying up, trying to get ready for work, hurrying up, trying to eat while you driving to work. Like all that is starting your day off chaotic. What type of day do you think you're gonna have? Now, some people are able to do it, me being one of them. You know, I've, I've I had developed a habit of rushing, cutting everything close to the last minute. Okay, I got 10 minutes to get there. I could. It ain't, it's, it's not uh, ideal. It's just not what you want to do. You want to give yourself some time. You want to move in peace and tranquility. So if you're getting up early and you don't got to rush, like right now I can get some content in and do all of these things before I even start my real work day. And it's peaceful, you know, while the rest of the world is asleep. So the second reason outside of you're going to get more done, you're going to get more productivity done is mental clarity, man. Moving throughout your day with peace is one of the one of the main reasons why you should be waking up earlier. Another reason, time management. When you are sleeping your day away and then working your day away, if you have a if you have a typical nine to five where you punch a clock, or whatever, and then you're also sleeping, the majority of your day is gone. You sleeping or you just laying around chilling plus work. The majority of your day is gone. How can you get more things done? How can you put yourself in a position where you don't have to go punch somebody else's clock if all you're doing is punching the clock and sleeping? You're going to have to make some sacrifices. It is very tough when you're so accustomed to waking up at whatever time you want to wake up. It's very tough to force yourself to get out that bed early. But if you want change, this is one of the things you can do. 
Give yourself an extra two hours. Give yourself an extra three hours before you start your day. Now, yes, you may have to go to bed earlier, right? But by this time, at nighttime, you're not hanging up, wasting all your time. By the time nighttime gets here, you're going to be done got so much done, it'll be okay for you to go to bed earlier because you're going to be waking up earlier. So if you can get into a groove that first week, bro, force yourself to get out to bed at 5 a.m., force yourself or whatever time you got to start your day, Force yourself to get out that bed a few hours earlier so you can knock some stuff out before you start your day. Time management, you're gonna be able to map out your whole day. All right, I can wake up, I can work out from here to here, I can make breakfast from here to here, I can do this from here to here, I can work on my business plan from here to here. This is before you even getting your day started. You can map your whole day out. Time management, productivity, mental clarity, these are all benefits that come with waking up early. Now, it's going to be different for everybody because some people got different schedules and all that. But I'm just saying you got to map your schedule out to where you're not sleeping your whole day away and working your whole day away. And it's leaving you with no room or no time to do anything else. Lastly, another benefit to waking up early for me is 5 a.m. It's going to improve your physical health. Y'all know my channel, I say it in almost every video, no matter what the topic is, I somehow, some way find a way to bring back physical health and working out and all of these things. But waking up early will improve your physical health. And you wanna know why? It's because when you wake up early, you're more likely to get a workout in. You're more likely to be able to incorporate fitness and health into your lifestyle. It's more likely to happen when you got all this extra time because you're not in the bed sleeping and then got to rush to work. And then by the time you get off work, you're too tired to do anything. You got a lot. It's, a, it's, it's way more likely for you to be able to incorporate working out into your lifestyle. So getting up early is going to improve your physical health. Now you got the, the opportunity to get a workout in every day. So you're improving your physical health. You have the opportunity to make your own breakfast instead of stopping at some fast food spot that you know you shouldn't be eating a breakfast at. You got the, the opportunity to make your own breakfast, a healthy breakfast, you know what I'm saying? Some, some scrambled egg with a smoothie and some, some spinach and whatever you want to eat, some oatmeal, whatever, however you want to do it, you got the opportunity to now prepare your own breakfast and get you a workout in. So now it's improving your physical health getting up earlier is going to getting up early when you finally get out of that bed to do these things you're going to be way more motivated because you like i just conquered the obstacle of getting out of the bed that that is a tough obstacle bro i get it i do not want to sit on here and act like oh it's just easy to do it's not but this is why certain people separate themselves from the rest of the crowd this is why certain people are ahead of the crowd because they do the things that are not that easy to do. So when you conquer that obstacle of getting out of that bed hours early and you still sleepy and tired and you know how hard it is and you know how much you wanna stay in that bed and stay asleep, especially if you got an extremely comfortable bed like myself, it's tough. So when you overcome that obstacle and your feet hit that floor and you go to that bathroom and throw some water on your face, you're gonna be like, yo, I just did all this. I just broke my rest to get up let me do something productive. Let me get a workout in. It's gonna improve your physical health because the motivation that you get from waking up early, it kicks in once you get out that bed. But you gotta put that phone down. One trick that I learned, well, it was two things that I did. Two things that put me in a groove where I was able to routinely get up early, right? One thing I used to do, I would set an alarm on my phone and put the phone far away to where I have to get out of the bed to go get it. Now, if you a heavy sleeper, you might need a very loud alarm or you might need some situation that is gonna force you to get out the bed to stop whatever it is that's going on. I had, I had set my phone alarm and I would put it outside my bedroom door. That alarm not gonna stop going off until I get up and get out of the bed to turn it off. If you a deep sleeper, you might need two, three, four loud alarms. I know some televisions, some TVs, some smart TVs have it to where you can program your TV to turn on at a certain time. Turn the volume all the way up and, and you know, wake yourself up, scare yourself out of sleep, whatever you got to do to force yourself to get out that bed. That was one thing that I did. And then also when I first got my dog a few years ago, my dog was two, three months, something like that, a little puppy. And I knew 
because I've had puppies before. I knew that she was going to be waking up in the middle of the night crying and whatever the case may be. You know how dogs are. So I had her her crate. I had her in her crate right next to my bed. So I knew once she started crying, I had to get up out the bed, let her out, whatever the case may be. She was waking up consistently when, when I first got her at 4, 4.35 in the morning. I wasn't getting much sleep. And I would get up out the bed, get her together, and then I would get my day started. And she was on that type of time, that getting up at 4 or 5 in the morning, she was on that type of time for a good month or two. And by that time, I was already in the groove. Now it ain't no struggle no more. Now I don't even need her to start crying. I'm just getting up at this time anyway because now I don't reprogram my body to wake up early and go to bed early. So my dog really helped me get on that schedule for real. I'm not saying go out and get a dog, but I'm just saying something that is going to force you to get up at this time every morning. If you do it for long enough, you're going to get in the groove and your body going to adjust to this new time. Your body going to be like, all right, this is what we on. We getting up at five. Let me wake you up at five. But you're going to be tired earlier, though. Ain't no hanging out and going out to the clubs, staying up all night playing a video game. It ain't none of all that. You got to get you some rest if you want to be able to accomplish this. But getting your day started before you get your day started is a major key, bro. This is major game that I'm giving. Incorporate that into your life. It's barely it's barely eight o'clock right now and I'm getting another video done and I'm going to be able to edit it and push it out still before I get my day started. I'm getting so much accomplished before I even get my day started. And it's probably people that's still in the bed right now. It's a Saturday morning. I woke up at 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Ain't no sleeping in, man, when you got goals that you're trying to hit, when you got things that you're trying to accomplish. I got people that I'm trying to help. So outside of my busy life, I gotta be able to figure it out. And one thing that I can do, I can sacrifice a couple hours of sleep or a couple hours of sleeping in so that I can get up and get my day started sooner. Look, man, join the Patreon, man. The link is in the description. Hella game to give exclusive content early access to content plus a bunch of other stuff like and subscribe to the channel man that's free just hit the like button and hit the subscribe button bro take two seconds man i appreciate y'all watching the channel i got more videos on the way man peace